Well, I'm back out here, and this time, since they haven't emptied it in a while, I'm really hoping that it's empty this time, uh, just so I can at least get in the dumpster, and that there might be some newer stuff that I can actually see and that's not buried. So, cross fingers and see what's in there. Oh god, it is not at all emptied again. <laughs> well, um, I think there's some more stuff, so I'll keep an eye out. Let me close this real quick. Look on the other side. Yeah, there's an Xbox One box back there, so I definitely want to check this out. Um, let me get this open so it'll be a little easier for me, and then I'll get you guys back. Well, I think this side is as good a place as any to start looking through it, so let's check this box first. Uh, it's a nice Xbox One box. Uh, feels pretty empty, so I'm not expecting anything to be inside it. But, um, yeah, you can always check, you never know. Let's throw that over there. Man, it's really hard to go through a dumpster. It's this full. It's really hard to tell what was there before. Sorry, I have to... Why were these outside the dumpster? Huh. It looks like they missed the dumpster and they just didn't care to, um... <laughs> they didn't care to put them back in. So yeah, let's just check these out then. These look to have like they have stuff in it. It's kind of nice for them to leave it out for me like this. I don't actually have to get my hands too dirty. Of course, I'm wearing gloves, so I won't be getting them dirty anyways. Let's see if I can tear it open. There's a hole right here. There we go. So, this looks to be like movies. Um, and movies are always a good sign for me because they're never clipped. Or at least they're usually not. There's something else in here. What in the world? This looks like it's a sensor bar for a Wii. I, it might be for a Wii U. I've never used a Wii U before. I only have the original Wii. But, um, this seems to be a pretty good find for the night. Uh, since it's wireless, they couldn't really clip anything, so <laughs> that's always good. Let's continue going down. So, if you remember a long time ago, if you've watched it, movies, when they throw away like this, they're always going to be in there, and they're always never going to be clipped. Um, because they just don't bother it. I can't bother with doing it. I wish they do it with games as well. Because finding movies, I mean, it's nice. Finding things intact in general is nice. But I'd really like one day to come out here and find a bunch of games, game discs that are perfectly intact and not clipped and destroyed like they always are. But um, this is an Xbox game right here. I have a feeling it's an empty though. Yeah. Never know though. Yeah, that's why it's always nice to check. This is a movie, so it's probably in there. Yep. Oh, seems to be the way they run things here. This is honestly kind of a weird spot. I'm like wedged between bushes and the dumpster. Feels like I'm hiding from something. <laughs> It's nice though, people can't see me, so I guess I am hiding from people. I'm trying to see if there's anything else in this that's game related and not movie related. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. <laughs> what is this? It's like a... Game Boy Color screen or something? It's all torn up. I mean, that's a weird thing for them to throw away. Alright, um, seems to be it for that first bag, so let's check out the second bag, which also seems to be a ton of movies. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Action books. Oh, look. Action books again. And wait! Action books again! <laughs> so if you want a action book movie, I've got quite a few of them now. <laughs> All intact. Let's see if there's anything nice in here. Flirty Girl Fitness. That sounds like something you just have to buy, doesn't it? Selling it for $2.95. So, um, I 
see why they threw it away. <laughs> Not complaining there. Growing a name? Hmm. Yeah, these movies. This is all gonna be boring, boring movies. Oh, and look. They must have just had a huge stock of all these movies. <laughs> what was it about that movie that they really wanted? Let's see. Yeah. Well, they have a season of Friends in here, it looks like. But still, none of them are Blu-ray. That's really the only reason to keep movies nowadays. But, uh, yeah. Let's see if I can find wherever I stuck it. It's Wee Sense Bar. That was definitely a great find, so. Let's stick my head back into the dumpster. Let's see if there are any more bags like that thrown in here. I think I saw a few back there. All right, so I got a few more bags out of the dumpster. I set them in this box just so it'll be a little easier for me to contain it. Um, this seems to have some things inside it. So this looks like a, a DS case. Uh, looks pretty nice and good condition. Let's see if I can unzip it. You know, there might be, it's too light to have, um, it's already unzipped, I think. It's too light to have an actual console on it, but yeah. It looks like it's in, sorry about that guys. It looks like it's in great condition. I was hoping there might be a game stuck in there or, not, or two, but um, I mean, just the case itself is fine. So I'll set this over here. Get more into this bag. Looks like it's almost like shoebox almost. What is this for? Ed Hardy by Christian. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Love kills slowly. Hearts and daggers. This is might be for some game. I don't know. It's a cute box though. I'm not gonna keep it. <laughs> I don't need any more cardboard boxes. Let's continue going through this. It's another cartridge for some games, I believe. Um, yeah, Nintendo DS. I don't know if you guys see very well with the light because it's very bright and glaring, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna try to show it best I can. I feel a disc, and it's clipped. <laughs> NBA 2K13. Um, so yeah, whenever I find games, guys, they're almost always gonna be clipped. It's just how it works here. Defect, defect, ugh, can't read. Defective disc rot. Disc rot, doc, defective. Um, let's see what's in here, because it's not clipped. It is Call of Duty Black Ops, the original one. They said it's disc rot. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can pick that up on camera, but I'm not going to keep that. It looks like it had some water damage at one point, um, so it, it won't be readable on the consoles. But yeah, that can stay in there. Continue going. This is an original Xbox game. It doesn't have any notes on it. Sorry, I just had to pull it out. Um, it does have some pretty bad scratches on the front, but the front does not matter. It's the back, and the back looks like it's in good condition. So, um, 2000, oh, I'm reading upside down, <laughs> hits 2002. So this is some sort of a musical game. But hey, it's a game, it's not clipped. I'll definitely be keeping that. And let's continue in this bag. Yeah, so that one seems to be empty, so I can move on over here. Don't even worry about those guys. All right, the Mita stuff. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's some sort of movie. Like I said, they're just gonna have so many weird, odd movies that they'll be throwing away. Um, what is this? Nothing in it. Don't even know what it was to. Two of them. Sometimes these bags are a little hard to get through. This is upside down. Adventures of rollerblading. <laughs> what an edgy title. Um, I'll definitely keep not be keeping that. Let's see if there's anything else in this bag. There's something heavy at the bottom of it. Probably just batteries. Yeah, just a couple batteries. All right, uh, let's look back in the dumpster to see if there's anything else. So I seem to have pulled out a few more bags that seem to have some good weight to it, but it could always just be nothing. Okay, 
So this one definitely was not nothing. <laughs> Looks like I found an Xbox 360 controller. And like I said, when they're wireless, they usually work perfectly fine. Um, it's missing its battery case, but I found so many of the empty battery cases that I can easily just... Whoops. <laughs> I can easily just swap in place and put the batteries in here to get it working. So, uh, looks like there may be another one. Awesome. So yeah, here we go. Another wireless Xbox 360 controller. This time, it does have the battery pack. It looks like it goes to the black one, though, because it is black. Uh, seems to be really fine and everything. Um, oftentimes, they'll just throw these away because of shelf life. Because... Um, there'll be some newer controllers or some other ones that always just get bought and replaced and these are just sitting on a shelf for so long that honestly they just it costs more to keep it on the shelf than it is just to throw it away but that is fine with me let's see what else is in here um a nintendo gamecube game and it looks to be in there now mind you this case is extremely disgusting um it looks like it got dirt and mud on it at one point, and that's probably why they threw it away, but the important part, you know, the game, looks dirty too, <laughs> but it probably can just be cleaned up because it's just got a lot of dirt caked on it, I don't know if you guys can pick up on that, but hey, it is a GameCube game, I think this is the first GameCube game I've found intact, I've found plenty of 360 games and PlayStation games, but no GameCube games, they just don't seem to be thrown away a lot. But all right, getting down to the next bag. First things first, we have a probably... Okay, well, it was a lightning port cable, but it seems to have gotten destroyed. So on to the next one. And it's destroyed as well. So this bag is probably just going to be a bunch of destroyed things. Um, on the bright side, it doesn't seem to have much in it. So they didn't destroy anything good. Like, look at that. It's an old... Um, iPhone charger, they just completely ripped that up. So let's go into this little bag that I pulled out a minute ago. It seems to be more <laughs> athletic DVDs, stuff I don't really care about. So they can just stay there. Um, this looks to be a headset uh, box, sadly, not the actual headset. I don't think it's the one, yeah, it's Afterglow. So it's not the one I found the other night, or else I might have kept it. What are you? Ouija Resurrection. Now, look, if this is in here, I'd be keeping it. And it is, because, dude, horror movies to me, I don't know. It might be because they're bad movies. It might be because I like being scared, even though I don't really get scared anymore, but horror movies are fun, so <laughs> I'll be keeping that. Ugh. Anything else in this bag? Doesn't look like it, but I have a couple more to go through. This guy is extremely light, um, so I'm probably actually not going to dig through it. just want to look through the bag. And then this one. That looks to be bathroom tissue. <laughs> so yeah, I won't be digging through that either. But I think that cuts it all for tonight. So just to cut through what um found. So first, I got this uh, Wii stand. I'm, I feel like it's the Wii U because I've never seen it for the original Wii. But it's probably the sensor bar for... Um, is the light on? No, it's just the light from the GoPro doing it. But yeah, nice sensor bar for it. Got two 360 controllers, which 360 controllers are always a plus. I found a few of them. They always work. Got this uh, GameCube game. Um, wasn't scratched up, wasn't destroyed, just really dirty, just needs to be clean. I found a bunch of movies over there, but I'm going to be throwing those back in the dumpster. I just don't think it's worth keeping. But um, Ouija, I'll be keeping that. Uh, got this game for the original Xbox. It's the Hits of 2002 NHL. I, I have no idea what this is, but hey, it's a game. And of course, I got the DS case. So um, yeah, tonight was a really good find. Um, better than what I found recently, but obviously I have found stuff like this before, so that's why I keep on coming. But um, yeah, that's it for tonight, and uh, I'll see you guys next time in the dumpster.